Ignition, lift off. Sat on top of a Falcon 9 rocket, SpaceX's Crew Dragon blasted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida. The company's Crew Dragon capsule would ferry astronauts into orbit and even deeper, helping to revolutionize the way we travel in space. So just what does this mean for humanity's quest for space travel and landing someone on Mars? Crew Dragon to the International Space Station. We wish this new asset to human spaceflight, fair winds and following seas as it returns to Earth for its splashdown in the Atlantic. The mission dubbed Demo-1 marks a new phase in spaceflight, which could see the first crewed lunar mission for nearly 50 years. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Since Neil Armstrong's immortal words back in 1969, only 12 men have walked on the moon, and no one has ever been back since 1972. Which is something SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk is hoping to change. Once Dragon is in, in regular operation, I think we will, we will um, seek uh, commercial customers. SpaceX hopes to launch the first humans to orbit on Crew Dragon by summer 2019. Astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. After that, it has six contracted missions with NASA to take up to four astronauts to the ISS. The time has come for civilians to fly to the moon. SpaceX aims to launch the first private mission around the moon in 2023 using its big Falcon rocket. On board will be Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa, who has brought all of the seats on the spacecraft and will invite six to eight artists with him to share the trip and create art. This can contribute to world peace. This is my lifelong dream. If the landing is successful, it could pave the way towards a manned mission to Mars. However, Elon Musk isn't the only one developing space programs. In what's been coined the billionaire's space race, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos and Virgin boss Richard Branson also want to send private citizens to space. We'll put humans on this vehicle when we're ready and not a second sooner. Bezos's Blue Origin plans to shoot a booster rocket with an attached passenger capsule 60 miles above the surface into suborbital space. Once the capsule has detached, people on board will experience weightlessness for around four minutes before the craft descends back into the atmosphere. The whole trip will last a mere 11 minutes and could cost more than £150,000 each. That's a whopping £13,000 a minute. It's going to be a very expensive vacation. While Blue Origin is concentrating on space tourism, Virgin Galactic is hoping to make space travel more accessible. 364,000 feet. Welcome to space, community. Its two and a half hour round trip can carry six passengers and two crew members to an altitude of about 62 miles. Around 700 people have already signed up to take a ride on Spaceship Two, which currently costs in the region of £190,000. Together, we can make space accessible in a way that has only been dreamt of before now. NASA's SLS Mega Rocket is also expected to take off in late 2019 or early 2020 in an uncrewed mission that will test critical systems ahead of future missions with astronauts on board. So the reason we go to the moon is to reduce risk, retire risk, prove capabilities and technology and then take all of that to Mars. Timelines are unreliable when it comes to human spaceflight. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk his aspirational hopes to launch a round-trip mission to the Red Planet with humans in 2024, a full decade ahead of NASA's planned arrival in 2034. So, what's next if we want to send a crewed mission to the Red Planet? A trip to Mars and back could total a whole year, and astronauts may spend 500 days on Mars's surface where there's up to eight times the radiation levels than government limits allow here on Earth. These measurements 
are helping to understand what the environment's like on the surface so that future astronauts will know how they can protect themselves from this harmful radiation. But before any manned missions, spacecraft full of cargo and machines will be sent to provide some infrastructure needed for the arrival of humans. And there's a lot of work to do to figure out how to keep passengers safe from radiation, starvation and themselves. Then there's the problem of getting there in the first place. The Apollo missions required thousands of litres of fuel to get to the moon. Well, Mars is 143 times further away than the Moon, with over twice the amount of gravity, making a round trip nearly impossible with today's rocket technology. With the potential for space tourism and eventually a manned mission to Mars within just a few years, Crew Dragon's successful trip to the ISS is the latest part in an exciting era of human spaceflight that could become as commonplace as air travellers today.